What makes a building more than just tall? What makes it smart, strong, and sustainable? Burj Azizi, a new super tall skyscraper rising on Sheikh Zayed Road in Dubai, is aiming to be all of that. Planned to reach a height of 725 meters, it will become the second tallest building in the world, once completed in 2028. But it's not just about height. Burj Azizi is also about using modern technology, clever design, and green systems to create something new and different. Let's take a closer look. What is Burj Azizi? Burj Azizi didn't always have this name. It was originally known as the Entisar Tower, but in January 2024, the project was taken over by Azizi Developments, and with that came a rebrand. Construction restarted in 2025, and things started moving fast. The tower is designed to have over 131 floors and will be used for many purposes. There will be homes, a hotel, shopping, food, and even tourist attractions inside. Once it's done, it will be one of the tallest towers ever built. But instead of just being a landmark, it's being built as a tower of technology, filled with smart features and eco-friendly design. Burj Azizi is a mixed-use tower, meaning it won't just be used for one thing. The lower and middle levels will include ultra-luxury residences with big terraces, fancy interiors, and private lobbies. On top of that, there will be an all-sweet seven-star hotel, themed around seven different cultures, Arabic, Chinese, Persian, Indian, Turkish, French, and Russian. Each cultural theme will be reflected in the hotel's design, restaurants, and even the service style. The tower also includes a seven-level vertical retail center, with some of the biggest luxury fashion brands likely moving in. For those wanting the best city views, there will be two observation decks, with the highest one on level 130, offering a panoramic look at Dubai. To top it off, there'll be the highest nightclub in Dubai on level 126, and a fine dining restaurant on level 122. Now here's something to think about. How does a 725 meter tall building stay stable in the ground? The answer lies deep below the surface. The tower sits on deep foundations with the help of piling, shoring, excavation, and dewatering, done by the International Foundation Group IFG. This helps make sure the ground can support such a massive structure. Above ground, the tower is designed to resist strong winds using clever techniques like aerodynamic shaping, setbacks, and a tapered form. Engineers used wind tunnel testing, including advanced techniques like high-frequency forced balance, HFFB, and aeroelastic studies to make sure people inside won't feel uncomfortable during windy days. It's built not only to stand tall, but to stand strong and safe. The outside layer of Burj Azizi is more than just glass. It's a high-tech system called a unitized double-skin facade. This means the tower has two layers of glass with a small space between them. The outside glass helps reflect heat, while the inside glass keeps the building insulated. This design helps keep the temperature comfortable inside while reducing the need for too much air conditioning. Engineers use solar radiation mapping and computational fluid dynamics CFD, to study how sunlight hits the building at different times of the day and year. These studies help them decide where to put shading elements and which glass coatings to use. There's also a clever airflow system between the glass layers that allows air to circulate naturally, reducing heat and saving energy. Moving up and down inside a tower this tall can't just be about normal elevators. Burj Azizi will have a network of ultra-fast elevators made by KONE, one of the top companies in vertical transport. These elevators use something called destination control, which means riders enter their floor on a touchscreen before getting into the lift and the system sends them in the most efficient way. There will be sky lobbies at different heights so people don't all have to ride from the ground to the top in one trip. This system helps reduce waiting times, saves energy, and improves the overall experience. It's smart, fast, and built for comfort. Inside the tower, a lot of things will be running without anyone needing to press buttons or flip switches. That's because Burj Azizi will have a building management system, BMS, that uses real-time data to control things like HVAC, lighting, security, and fire safety. The building will have Internet of Things IoT sensors that collect data from all over, like how many people are in a room, the air quality, or the temperature. The BMS uses predictive analytics to adjust settings automatically. For example, if a room is empty, the lights and air conditioning turn off to save power. If a fire is detected, 
the system activates alarms, unlocks doors, and alerts emergency teams all at once. It's all about keeping people safe, comfortable, and efficient. Being high-tech isn't just about screens and systems, it's also about being green. Burj Azizi has been designed with a strong focus on sustainability. The building uses energy recovery ventilation, which means it captures heat from outgoing air and reuses it to precondition fresh air coming in. This saves a lot of energy. To reduce water waste, the building uses gray water recycling systems and low-flow fixtures in bathrooms and kitchens aiming to cut potable water use by at least 30% compared to normal buildings. Then there are the green terraces and sky gardens, plants placed on multiple levels throughout the tower. These aren't just for looks, they help cool the building naturally, improve air quality, and reduce the urban heat island effect, which is common in cities like Dubai. There's a lot to offer for the people who live, work, or visit Burj Azizi. Guests can check in at the highest hotel lobby in Dubai, located on level 11. Want a meal with a view? Head to the restaurant on level 122. In the mood to dance? The nightclub on level 126 is probably going to be the most exciting spot in the city. And for those who just want to take it all in, the observation deck on level 130 will give a view like no other. The residences will include penthouses with private amenities, and the retail center will have top-tier shopping and entertainment all within the same tower. A project like Burj Azizi comes with big challenges. Wind sway is controlled by its shape and strong core, while the desert sun is managed through solar mapping, smart glass, and shading. Energy use is reduced using IoT, predictive systems, and energy recovery. Safety during construction is handled with GPS tracking and real-time monitoring. Burj Azizi will break records with the highest hotel lobby, restaurant, nightclub, and observation deck in Dubai. At 725 meters and 131 plus floors, it will be the second tallest building in the world. It's more than just tall, it's smart, sustainable, and a model for future buildings. Rebranded in 2024, construction resumed in 2025, and completion is set for 2028. It promises luxury, efficiency, and global impact. Burj Azizi is more than just a tall building. It's a symbol of progress. With smart systems, sustainable choices, and record-breaking features, it's showing what the future of construction can look like. From how it's built to how it runs, everything about it points to a smarter, greener, and more connected world. Thanks for watching until the end. Which feature impressed the most? Let's see how buildings of the future continue to grow, not just higher, but smarter. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.